we're going to record. And today we're going to take a look at lab 12, which is about the KPIs and dashboards. And so the first one we're going to do is going to create a donut chart for your profitability for your global superstore. So the first thing we did was we renamed the sheet profit KPI. The next thing we're going to do is come down and create a calculated field and we're going to call it our profit KPI, right? So we're going to just say, um, going to assign it a value of one, all right? Ah, so I already have that over here. So I need to delete mine so we can start again, okay? So profit KPI, and you'll see now that it's created the profit KPI, right? All right, so we're going to take this new measure and we're going to take it to the rows times two, twice, right? Are we, are we still using the global superstore sheet from... Lab? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. I'll, when I'm done, I will take this Tableau file and I'll make sure that you have it there as well. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll take the full Tableau file with everything and put it up there as well. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to pull down the menu and I want to select the minimum for both. And it's going to end up making this a one for each one of them. Okay. Just shows me that we have at least one. And we're going to change that in just a moment. OK, the next thing I want to do is take on the all marks. We're going to pull that down. We're going to pull that down and it won't change. And we're going to change from automatic to a pie chart so that we have the circles here. OK. All right. So we're going to double check that we have two identical charts, which we do which is what we want to do because we're going to take the outer circle for one and the inner circle for the other to make the donut chart. Okay. So on the first one up here where it says the minimum KPI, right? We're going to take the category and we're going to drag it, excuse me, not to all, but to the first one category, drag it to the color. And now you can see that we have three different categories. We have the tech, office supplies and furniture in equal values, okay? On the second one, we're simply going to click it and we're going to change the color to white. And so what's going to end up happening is this is going to be on the inside of that to give us the donut, all right? Okay, now up here, we're going to take any one of them. We're going to right click and we're going to select a dual axis. OK, excuse me. Come on. Now it's being contrary with me, which is kind of annoying. OK, so there we go. We got it. All right. Now I want to remove these two before I make any changes. So I'm going to take each of the legends and just instead of show header, I'm going to take it out because we're not going to need it. Now, it looks like there's nothing there, right? But there's actually a circle there. So we're going to select that. I'm going to change the size. I'm going to make it slightly smaller, right? And the smaller I make it, the larger my donut becomes. Okay. All right. Okay. So then what we want to do is come back to the first one and we're going to pull that down and we're going to take the profitability and you'll see now that you have a new option that's called angle. So we're going to take the profit and drag that to the angle. And now instead of them being equal, each one of them has a different angle or different slice of the pie, depending on the profitability. You can select that outer shell. And if you want to make that a little bit larger, you can do so. Okay. So we've already done step five. So we're gonna go on to step six. We're gonna input the total profits. So we're gonna take the second KPI, right? And we're gonna take the profit and we're gonna drag that to the measure field. We're just gonna drop it in the bottom of the field, okay? And so now 
and see that we have our categories over here. And when I hover over each one of them, it tells me what the profitability was for each of those pieces. Okay. All right. We're going to do that again. Then we're going to drop that into the label. And so now you can see in the middle, let me make that a little bit larger for you here. All right. Okay, so you can see in the middle that we have our profitability. And that's the profitability overall to make sure that each of the pieces fit together. Okay, you can make that donut circle whatever size you want. Okay. All right. So I also want to change the font sizes here. So I'm going to select that font. I'm going to right click and I'm going to format. Okay. I'm going to pull down the fields and for the sum of profit, which is the one that I just selected, I'm going to take the numbers. I'm going to change that a little bit. I'm going to make that 12 point. So it's a little bit larger. I'm going to make it bold so that it stands out. And then under numbers, because I can see that it's overshadowing the donut, I'm going to pull down currency custom. I'm going to round that off to the nearest whole number. And then I want to display the units in thousands. So I end up with 146, uh, 1.467K, right? Approximately 1.4 million. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to do, because I'm going to end up replicating this, this column line and these these row lines around each one of these, I need to get rid of those. Okay. So I'm going to click here where the lines are, go to the column line and make sure that there's no grid lines, that there's no lines at all. So I'm just going to come through here. And I'm going to make this none for every single one of them so that I know that I've gotten rid of everything. Okay. And then I do the same thing again for the rows. What this is going to do is it doesn't seem like it's making changes now, but it prevents it from making changes in the next step. So I'm just going to click none for each one of those. Okay. All right. Okay. And so then I'm going to X out of that pane. And so that for the next step, I'm going to add the profits for each of the categories by selecting all. And then I want to drag the profit to the label. Right. And so now, as you can see, I've got the total profits for the entire uh, for the entire year. And then I have each of the profitabilities built in for the different segments or for the different categories. And so the next step is I want to divide it further by segment. So I'm going to come here and under my dimensions where it says segment, I'm going to drag that to the columns. And now I have the consumer, the corporate and the home office segment together with the categories across the top. So that further subdivides everything. And I can drag that out a little bit and make it a little bit larger. Right. And if I want, I can take this, make that a little larger as well. Okay. All right. So the next thing I need to do at the top up here, this profit KPI, I don't need that. I want it to divide by segments and we know it's profitability. So I'm going to pull that down and simply hide the title. Right. Okay. So now, I have a good solid worksheet that has the profitability for the consumer, corporate and home office sector, then further divided by category on segment. So it's divided by segment first, then by category so that I can see each of the different profitabilities for both. All right. 
So I want to create two more worksheets, one for sales and one for shipping costs. And the easy way to do this is to just duplicate this, right? So I'm going to right click, rename this now, and this will be my sales KPI. And this will be my shipping cost KPI. Or you can just call it shipping. Now for the, we have profits here for the sales instead of sum of profit. I'm going to bring the sum of sales to the, to the four. And then all I have to do is change the format, right? So again, I select right click in format. Okay. Come up to the fields for the sum of sales. And I'm going to change it again, making it 12 point font and bold. For the numbers, I'm going to make it currency. And display unit's going to be in thousands. Excuse me, I put millions and I meant thousands. Okay, come on. There we go. And so now it's the same thing. The profits, the sales, and the shipping KPI. So for the shipping, I'm going to take the profit out, right? Put in the shipping cost for the labels and adjust it again, right? So reformat fields for shipping cost, the 12 point font and bold. Okay. Now, the format of this doesn't really matter to me so much as long as uh, as long as you're consistent with it. I'm OK. All right. And then we go to the numbers. OK. Display the units in thousands. And so now you have three. KPIs across the board one for profits, one for sales, one for shipping, that tells me what my key performance indicators are, okay? All right, there's a couple of other things I wanna do to enhance the readability of this, right? First thing is I'm gonna reorder them so that they're in sales, shipping, and profits. by simply dragging them over like this, okay? And then the next thing I want to do is I want to create a dashboard. So we're going to come down to the dashboard view. And then we're simply going to drag them in. So the thing that's at the top is going to be my uh, you can reorder these in any way you want. So the thing I want at the top is the profitability. Right. So I'm going to drag that in first. And this one here doesn't matter. So I'm going to take that out. Then I want my sales down toward the bottom. And I want my shipping costs next to sales so that you end up with these three. And again, the size bubble here is not important. These are. And so I have three dashboards here now with my uh, profit, sales and shipping. Now you can make these a little bit larger. You can take uh, and format the font here right you can make that a little bit larger we'll make it a different color you can do the same thing here right just play around with that and make it look good don't have a problem with whatever you make it just whatever you do in one i want you to be consistent with the others so that it's a consistent look okay and the last thing i want you to do is we need to put the corporate logo over here. So I'm going to drag an image pane. And then that opens up a dialog box. And so that dialog box now has me to choose an image. So I've already picked one somewhere on here. It doesn't really matter what picture it is, right? Let's say we use the Lin logo. Now I'm going to have you go and download the globe logo and put that on there. 
but you can pitch whichever one you want, to be honest. To be consistent, let's come back over here. Okay. And I will go ahead and download that logo. Okay. And we're going to come here now and put that logo in. Okay. We want to check the box that says fit image and apply. Click OK. So now you have your logo with the category in each of the pieces. Right now. If you select at the bottom here, you can see that it'll select one at a time so that you can enhance those. Right. Or if you collect the entire segment, there you go. The last thing I want to do is let's say, for instance, you want to put this at the top because the corporate logo is the most important thing. You simply drag the category below it. Right. And it'll put everything together. OK. Or you can move it somewhere like this and make it look a little better so you can pull all of that together. OK. All right. So I'm going to post this video right along with another video that's a little more um, robust with a gentleman showing you how to build that donut. OK, and all you have to do for this is create what you see here. Right. You're going to create a, a different look and feel to it and so on and so forth. Now, one last thing I want to show you here that's not in the instructions. If instead of simply coming and changing each of these formats, you want to say, I, I want to format the entire thing together in one fell swoop. You can come to format and then look at the entire dashboard together. Okay. So then you can, I'm going to say, okay, well, I want everything to be bold font. I want it all to be a different size, so on and so forth. And it will look the same together. You can also look and format the workbook. Okay, and have each of those pieces pulled in as well. All right. So you can pull the format down from here. You can look at the parameters, the cell size. And the best thing that I like about this is this idea of the workbook theme. So you can pull in different themes for the entire piece and it will change everything at the same time. Right. So if you go with a modern look, it looks something like that. If you go with the right. So the default or whatever is whatever you set up. All right. So there you have the different pieces that you can pull together. All right. So let me stop here and find out. Do you have any questions for me? OK, so if you I don't have any questions, go ahead. Mark. Okay. OK, go what ahead. Whomever. Okay. Um, I've been trying to upload last night's homework for quite some time. I did it all last night.